Alright, alright, cause I'm back! What's up, what's up, man? We have gotten information about the new content that is gonna arrive to the game probably in a week or two weeks, maybe at the end of the month. They are scheduling this quest to be added at the version 15.0 update and it's probably usually like it's, it's usually like a big patch update is usually at like the 25th or they can delay it for the end of the month whenever the new characters are gonna come out now let's break down the quest what is it gonna be about i did read already the juice here guys and let me tell you that they can cook they can actually cook with this event i mean it's not an event it's an all you know, like, it's gonna be always in the game. It's just gonna be a new content that we can play. And, uh, yeah, guys, let's just go in there, man, you know? Yeah, we're just gonna add a new quest, high difficulty, single player quest. Um, that you can challenge as many times as you want. Endless series of stages. It's an endless quest. And the only way of clearing the quest is, uh, to let the timer run out. And depending how many stages you do, that type of medal you're gonna get. You're gonna see that later here. And, uh, probably the rewards are gonna depend on that as well. The Limit Breaker quest is unlocked at player rank 50. Everyone, uh, is rank 50 unless you started the game, you know, uh, nowadays or whatever. But it's easy to get into rank 50. And devices with less than 2 gigabytes of memory available may see some performance issues, you know? I mean, uh, yeah, fair enough, I guess. Team and the rules, guys, let's go. We have seen this picture before, way before, but we haven't seen the new background that they added. And I guess that's gonna be the background of the quest. That's really, really cool. Uh, the Limit Breaker quest must be attempted with a, three, with a team of three characters. Each character slot is bound by specific rules, so make sure to choose characters that match these rules. Now... Let me tell you that, guys. If they can change the rules every week or every two weeks, that's gonna be crazy. That's gonna be crazy, guys. And uh, we don't know what the rules are gonna be for these slots here that uh, Caleb used. Um, but um, probably it's mind, mind and, and green or whatever. Maybe it's killer specific. Maybe... I don't think it's affiliation specific because, uh, you know, uh, Ichigo and Reggie is so Reaper. And Biako is so Reaper and Captain, if you know what I mean. But uh, we can see it later, of course, down the lines, what is going to be the rules for some of these characters that we can use. Character change. The playable character will automatically change with every stage. It cannot be changed by the player. The cooldown times of strong attacks and the remaining times on the buffs for the characters not being used will be paused until they become the playable character once more. Yeah, so if we change a map, the next character will be at the spotlight. And, uh, you know, of course, if you clear the, let's just say, stage 6 here with Renji, maybe the next stage you have to do it with Biakuya. The next thing that is interesting is, if any character is dead during the quest, the quest will end. So it doesn't matter who you're gonna die with. It's not like you're gonna lose the stage. You're gonna lose the whole match. That's gonna be crazy. No, no, Kev, that's gonna be good. That's really, really good in my opinion. Because it's gonna add that survival feeling, you know. Like, you cannot just mess up. You just can't mess up. They're gonna one-shot you, if you know what I mean. Uh, later on, during the harder stages of the map. And um, since it means endless stages, just imagine how strong some of these enemies are gonna be. That we just, like, you know, we, there's no way... You know, for us, let's just say to like clear stage 30, 35, something like that, if you know what I mean? Like, if it's gonna be endless, that means like, bro, like, maybe they are gonna be like level 500 mobs sometimes. Like, that's crazy, you know? Like, I don't even think we can, uh, we can reach to that point right now. Stages and rewards. You can see that, uh, Ichigo did the stage 1, stage 4, stage 7, stuff like that. They only cleared 7 stages here, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, on the result screen, yeah, exactly, okay, whatever, and these are gonna be the orders, limit break request orders, you can see that if you're doing three stages, you're getting 25 orbs, uh, for four stages, 10,000 transcendence, 20,000, stuff like that, and they are saying that as well, there is a limit on the amount of rewards attainable from orders by clearing the stages, however, you can earn a badge to display on the main status screen, showing how many stages you have cleared in one attempt, aim to clear as many stages as you can within the time limit and the thing is i don't know how good the rewards are gonna be i just don't know based on this picture i don't know if you know what i mean like maybe there are gonna be only a couple of orders that you can clear with ease and the rewards are just gonna end right there you know and yeah i don't know i don't know maybe they're gonna update it every maybe limit break request is gonna have a season you know and maybe every season we're gonna have different type of rewards in here you know I don't know, I don't know, they can do it just like in arena or whatever, but uh, yeah guys, yeah man, 
Quest details, slot 1. Hollows, sorry per squeezies. Okay, what is this? Speed, might, technique. General rules, 5 minute time limit, no continuous, maximum link slot level is 10 to 10. Range damage, range damage, melee damage. Killer effect, 5. Okay. Um, Alright, I don't know what this actually means, but maybe it's... um. Is the rules for specific slots of characters. Here, I don't know if this is gonna be specific character slot, you know, rules, or is it gonna be like some stage rules or whatever, I, I don't know, honestly, I don't know. Uh, if you're experiencing uh, per performance issues during the Limit Breaker quest, you can reduce it, but okay, whatever, yeah, yeah, you can change the graphics in the game, you know, but I don't think that's gonna do too much, right, like, I don't think that's gonna do too much, if you're gonna lag, you're just gonna lag, if you know what I mean. But yeah, guys, it's gonna come out in a couple of weeks. That's gonna be fun. You know, hey, hopefully they can cook. I think it looks nice. Endless mission, endless quest. It's, it's cool. I think it's cool. It's a cool idea. And, uh, bro, just imagine the possibilities of reaching, like, stages that people never have seen before. Like, stage 50, something like that, you know? And maybe there are gonna be enemies with, like, level 1000, you know? Like, hey, this is it's just gonna be crazy. Especially, um, you know, with characters that are max and stuff like that. Yeah, guys, yeah, hopefully the rewards are gonna be good, hopefully this is gonna be fun to do, and uh, yeah, man, guys, thank you for watching, take care, have a nice day, bye-bye.